This is the Flywheel Venom H20. I will be showing you some journal spec reviews, flight footage, and the things I like and dislike about this drone. I hope this can help you make a better decision to determine if this is the right drone for you. Let's check it out. All right, let's look at the specs. By looking at it, it's really obvious that you see two additional motors, and this is going to be a six-motor hexcopter. And it's very interesting that they mounted the two additional motors facing down. And these two motors, they will not just give you additional thrust and power when doing acrobatic flying. It will also give you additional uh, stability when flying really slow for cinematic shots. And this thing, I believe the heaviest camera you can carry is going to be a GoPro Bones uh, and a uh, DJI Action 2. The drone I ordered is a DJI Cadex Polar Vista EORS version. So it did come with a uh, EORS chip receiver uh, pre-mounted. So you will be able to bind it directly with your DJI goggles and your EORS controller. But if you decided to just go with the bind and fly version, you should be able to connect them directly with your DJI goggles and your uh, V2 controller and I believe it's the DJI Black controller, the first generation controller. This is a very helpful image from the Flywheel website that shows you what binds with what. I will also leave a link below at the description so you will be able to check it out directly. This drone also comes with a pre-built in camera power cable which you will be able to use it to connect the camera desired directly or with the pre-built uh, adapter cables like this one. This one is for the Runcam Thumb Pro which you will have to purchase it separately but it's worth your time so you don't have to resolder. You can check out the website to find out what options you have. So let's look at the weight. With the drone itself, we are going to have 100, about 100 grams. And with the Flywoo 750 battery, it's a really big battery for such a small drone, you are going to get about 167 grams. And with the Thrunkem Thumb Pro, you will be expecting to see 186 grams, which we are still way below the 250 gram limits. Now we are to the most important question. How long of a flight time can you get out of this thing? So with the Flywheel 750 amp battery, you should be able to get about seven to eight minutes flight time if you're just hovering around. But if you started to decide to uh, go acrobatic and push your throttle real hard, then the flight time will decrease drastically to about three to four minutes, which is to be expected. Let's bring it outside to check it out how it flies. The image is coming out from the Runcan Thumb Pro V2 with no gyro flow. This is to show you how smooth the drone is to out of the box without any post reduction. With the vibration almost eliminated, you can hardly see any jello in the video. We're just going to cruise around and do some uh, small acro tricks to show you that acro is possible.
After reviewing the flight footage, let's look at a few things I like and dislike about this drone. The first thing I like is the size. Just look at how compact this thing is. You will definitely be able to fit this in a lot tighter space uh, compared to like a regular 5 inch. However, if your main purpose is to fly this in-house, probably this is not the drone for you as this thing flies really, really fast. But if you have a really big house, yeah, it's no problem. Additional note that I observe is that due to the size being so small, uh, I do feel like it is less intimidating to people when I'm flying outdoors. Because like, compared to like a regular 5 inch that or a DJ FPV that just are big, robust and feels intimidating, this drone is just small, small and cute. Well, just to give you a perspective of the sizing, let's look at a DJ FPV propeller. And this is the Flywoo Venom H20. They are similar size. Additionally, I do feel like this drone uh, offers so much uh, diversity so for you to use on different occasions. Uh, if you want to do, do acrobatic flying, yes, this does have enough power for you to flip, roll, and spin. But And if you wanted to do like uh, really slow, steady cinematic shots, this drone offers a lost at stability as it's not going to wobble around when you're just trying to fly straight and if you wanted to carry heavier cameras this does this does carry a heavier cameras come like maybe a little bit more than itself but yeah the second thing i like about this drone is it is a relatively quiet fpv drone Due to the motors being so small, you do get a little bit higher pitch when flying, but the overall volume, I would say it is very, very acceptable. You can definitely fly this around your uh, neighborhood without tracking too much attention. Compared to like a DJ FPV that that thing is really, really loud, you will definitely wake your neighbors and wouldn't suggest you do so, but this one, not a problem. Okay, so coming from the DJ FPV owner point of view, this drone is uh, built more robust compared to the DJI FPV as when DJI FPV hits something it's going to shatter to around a million pieces and when you hit something with this drone probably you'll be fine but uh, this drone does have a few weak points and the number one weak points are these little legs these are plastic and it's basically a guarantee break off if you have a really hot a landing or uh, you just hit something really uh, something something really hard they're just gonna to break off and but you are able to replace them uh, fairly simple as long as you have the spare parts and well you do need them to keep the bottom motors uh, above ground so yeah you still need them but another thing I don't like is the prop guards these prop guards are uh, basically really, really fragile. And you can see, just look at how thin the joints are. And yeah, if you have the prop guards on when you receive it, I would strongly suggest you remove it right away. And because these prop guards, when you hit something on impact, it's going to squeeze them, of course. You're gonna, the prop guards are gonna be squeezed and basically your propellers are gonna slice everything off and you're gonna have a jam propeller so yeah I would suggest to remove them and your propellers will take more damage compared to this so propellers are no problem as we can see here like many micro drones they decided to mount the air unit naked uh, which means the heat guards are removed in order to reduce the maximum weight this is going to give you one problem that your air unit will heat up really fast if you plug in your battery and let the drone sit there for more than 60 seconds, uh, probably you'll be starting to get an uh, error message in your goggles saying that air unit is overheating. So if you do have the battery plug in, I would suggest to take off within 30 to 60 seconds in order for the propellers to generate enough wind to cool the air unit down. This wraps us up the review for the Flywoo Venom H20. If you have a different opinion or if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.